Assalamu alaikum beautiful people hope you guys are doing well having a great time welcome to another exciting video which is an opportunity from uh, South Korea and uh, it's from UNESCO it's actually funded by UNESCO it's a fully funded uh, conference uh, or a leadership program you can say so before starting this video and this topic if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly check out different videos you will like it uh, subscribe my channel hit the, bell, uh, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the opportunities and uh, if you guys want to join us on Facebook you guys can also join us on Facebook and uh, you are as you can see people are joining this group uh, this page so <clears throat> You guys can uh, click on uh, see first and just by here as you can see see first and uh, if you guys want to join us on the whatsapp the group of that group uh, the link of that group will be given in the description below so this is a, a conference or a leadership program some introduction about this program that this is the sixth unesco youth leadership workshop a leadership uh, program um, in 2020 in Seoul, South Korea. The duration of this fully funded uh, leadership program in Korea is one week and the youth uh, workshop will be held in Seoul from 25 to 31st May 2020. You don't need any alerts TOEFL for the UNESCO APCO South Korea's leadership program. So enough introduction, let's dig into the basic requirements and eligibility and how you're supposed to apply. So host country South Korea organization are EPCU <coughs> Ministry of Education of the Republic of Korea partner GCT Youth Network. So this is the thing which will make things complicated now. Uh, pro program location Seoul program duration one week program dates these are the dates it's a one week program so it's from 21st to 25 to 31st May and the benefits of the programs is during the workshop participant will identify specify priority issues around global citizenship and establish plans for the future direction of GCD uh, working both individually and in groups the young leaders will devise the goals and strategies for use at local and national levels well that's pretty appreciable participant will learn about specific areas such as GCD and human rights through information sessions and engage in dialogues debates involving issues on involving issues as part of the workshop but participants will make a field visit to discuss the role of youth for most peaceful and sustainable future <coughs> If you talk about the financial support, they will provide accommodation, meal, local transportation, round fair trip to and from South Korea, uh, certification of completion, in insurance in case of accidents. They are tech basically talking about medical insurance. Program objectives. Okay, I want you. I want you guys to. I can explain these things but these objectives you need you are supposed to work hard on these objectives understand these objectives that's why you will be supposed to answer the questions there they will ask you in the application form so to deepen youth uh, leaders understanding of global uh, citizenship and to provide a form of participating youth leader to discuss and establish action plans sustainable for implementation of GCD at local national and religion uh, rich, regional regional level uh, to identify innovate youth lead initiative on GCD in different regions um, you will get to know more about these questions, uh, these things when I explain the questions they will ask you. Program outcomes, youth participants, uh, this and that. You can do that this on this on your own. If you talk about the eligibility criteria, born between 1992 and 2001, workshop only provides opportunity to youth who are citizens of both the ODA recipient countries and. Uh, the UNESCO member states minimum two year of 
active experience in youth activities they can be any kind of activities any 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 kind of activities basically if they are related to youth youth affairs problems you are solving what kind of uh, uh, hesitations you had when you were working for the youth you were working for a global cause you were working for your uh, for your own people things like that if they are good or whatever you can share this but you have to uh, have minimum two years of, of experience in those activities completion of the e-learning course titled as becoming a global citizen of sustainable society on GCD this is the website and by 9th March maximum 9th March proficiency in spo uh, spoken and written English these are the eligible list of countries who are eligible if you can uh, find the name of your country in Africa Arab state Asia Pacific Europe Latin America and Caribbean and you are then supposed if you find the name of the country in the list, then you're eligible and you can apply for this. Submission application must be submitted online. Notification of the selection in the form of invitation letter will be sent by 26th March. All selected participants must register by 27 March. At the latest, late registration will not be accepted and will not be considered. A cancellation of a participant. In case of cancellation, the invitation will be forwarded to the next application on the applicant on the waiting list. How you are supposed to apply? You are just supposed to click this red button. When you click this red button, this page will open up. You are supposed to click next. When you click on next, these are the same things which I have already explained. <coughs> next, when you click on next, you will they will uh, start. Uh, just write uh, your personal credential, your personal information, and after doing that. Okay, so, oh, oops, I went too far. Select it, okay. Select your gender, your nationality, region, passport number, whatever it is. I'm writing something, whatever I can okay personal home page okay personal home page and blogs or social media as they're talking about active youth be uh, active youth basically active youth have personal home pages they have blogs they have social media they have connections they have they are doing volunteer work so these kind of things if you have on your page blogs or whatever you are supposed to share this year you are not supposed to share your personal profile here so that's it and you just share whatever it is write uh, your phone number and after doing that country of residence if uh, different from the above <coughs> affiliation organization university okay so they're talking about your university if you are if you are a current student or they're talking about your organization if we, in which you're working so you're right to, to suppose the detail about your organization or university and your position as well after doing that click on next okay these are the questions I was talking about explain in hundred words why do you think that you are a global citizen so first of all I want you to know to those people that what is global citizen so they are talking about why do you think that you are a global citizen global citizen what kind of abilities do you have how you are working for your community what kind of positive message or what kind of change do you want in your community how how your work is affecting your community how you are basically in this question you are supposed to prove them that why you are a global citizen why you are working for a global cause so these are the things
and if we talk about the second question um, the second question is basically please explain your activities engagement and how these relate to the objective values of GCET if possible please specify which areas these are the given areas the educational poli uh, political participation community-based activities media arts student movement you have been engaged in and for how long okay they are basically requiring data and information about your uh, personal activities if you have uh, participated in any kind of political participation that may be community based activities they can be media art student movement this is just a um, given criteria as you can see you can see you can uh, see etc right here which means your um, activities or engagements can be from any kind of uh, background so if you are have activities or if you are engaging with some sort of people for a global cause for a good cause and uh, you are supposed to write down the information about your uh, participation your activities and for how long you are doing that why you are doing that what benefits do you are gaining from it and how your community community is getting better from your effort after answering that question we have the next question which says what are two main expectation from the workshop and two immediate actions you will take after the workshop so basically this this is the as i can say it's a leadership workshop so if you have some sort of skills which will um which will um uh, which can explain uh, basically what kind of uh, leadership potential do you have so this is the this is the main cause of this uh, your if this is the main cause of you to applying for this workshop so if you haven't did that kind of skills which they are actually expecting from you then you are not supposed to apply for this program for, for uh, about answering this question you will get to uh, answer this question more efficiently if you visit this website and I will uh, you are also even supposed to visit this website just because you are supposed to complete your e-learning course here and when you learn about this website this this website is cool and everything then you will get to know more about that uh, uh, answering this question and uh, if we talk about the next question tell us about how you can contribute to this workshop if you become a participant case presentation on your activity using your professional skills photography videography writing arts or it skills workshop PR via social network okay so if you have any kind of skills which they have described or skills which can uh, which are even not described here and you have some kind of skills and how you can affect this program if you become a participant so basically this is the this is this is kind of simple question and if we went to the next question have you participated in any other program by these organization if yes then please specify if no then it no so after answering these questions you are supposed to click next and when you when you click on next okay as you can see every applicant should complete and pass e-learning course title this is the title on GCD website this is the website you're supposed to click on this website if you do not complete this course and pass the e-learning course do not submit your application before the completion your application will be disregarded and if you do not follow the instruction so <clears throat> you're supposed to click on this link when you click on this link this page will open up and when this page open up you are supposed to look for that topic which is become global citizen you are supposed to click on that topic when you click on that topic it will say register when you click on register they would say you want to, to log in you can log in by facebook twitter google whatever and <coughs> when you log in you will be 
supposed as you can see this I have successfully logged in come on I don't know what's wrong with this okay. thank you yes this is the program I was talking about this is actually the requirement you cannot apply if you do not apply for this course or do not complete this course this is the details about the course this is the modules which they have basically five six uh, five modules and these are the global citizenship and the SDGs understanding global citizenship in the context why and what is global citizen issues around global citizenship global citizenship in a challenging world these are the things these are the um, basically the sustainable problems we are facing in the current world right now act to change meet the global citizens plan for action becoming active global citizen okay so this is very very beneficial for all of us if you participate in this program or not participate in this program but this course is a uh, like is a great course for your personal development I want uh, I suggest I would suggest you to complete this course and uh, this this will applying to this conference and not applying to this conference that is really something else but um, if you uh, just complete this course this will give you a better kind of knowledge about these all kind of things and problems you're facing if you're not familiar with these problems and as I was answering the question and I didn't answer complete the answer to the second or the third question this was the reason if you complete all this course you will get to know more about these problems you will get to get to know more about what you are doing how you how your work is related to this global citizenship or a global cause and then you can answer the questions more easily and perfectly so this is the information about the instructor this is the course overview we are not interested in that just click on classroom and when you click on classroom the content of your course will pop up in front of you and you're supposed to watch uh, I will suggest you as I'm saying again it's a request so that you can increase the level of knowledge you have currently in your mind for these global causes and your work you're doing as you can see a check mark will appear on the right side of e-content after completion after completion the program won't be tracked through mobile phones so we highly recommend you to use computer laptop for the learners who reside in Indonesia we can recommend you to use VPN to watch the lectures click uh, how to watch the documentary films no that's something else click the documentary link per each module will be redirected to this studio website type password this and that this is the password they have given participate in the forum learners should write one posting in every forum from one to seven take a quiz each module has one to two set of quizzes and there are 10 questions per one set final ass assignment submit a reflection paper at least one paper or one minute video what you have learned and how this is this has helped you course evaluation please click on this icon in the world composed of eight simple and easy question and submit your feedback and uh, for participant who completed the course before it in this please kindly submit the feedback to us okay this is the things this is the kind of criteria they want and after doing that you will find the information about the videos okay so when you complete uh, watching all these videos and uh, information they're talking about then you will be uh, uh, receive a certificate of completion you will be receiving a certificate of uh, completion and uh, 
after uh, that uh, certification you will be also getting when you come back to this you will just uh, click on submit but when you click on submit your application will not be submitted will be submitted but actually if you don't have the e-learning course or the completion of e-learning course then your application is uh, almost directly connected to your uh, the list of videos you have watched and the completion you have got or not if you have got the completion it will be automatically directed the application as a complete application but if you haven't completed the list of the videos or the course they're talking about then your application will be um, not uh, completed and it will be uh, rejected basically as they have told to you guys right here if you do not follow the instruction then your application will be disregarded okay so that's it from today thank you so much for watching guys if you guys have any difficulties or uh, problems you can contact me in the comment sections below and uh, that's it from today thank you so much oh sorry i didn't explain this these are the uh, these are the lectures or the modules one by one which you're supposed to click and complete each one by one these are the lectures they were talking about okay so that's it goodbye take care of yourself and have a great day best of luck